Hello folks, Jason Crispin here, Grazing Acres Farm. And real quick, I wanted to share an update on my Job Topaz valve. Remember this valve? Uh, I bought it last winter and efforts to help keep the stock tank from freezing. Well, the trick to working is you can see that outlet at the top that trickles water. And there's supposed to be a little tube that went in there. Um, it hangs down above the water, but I have since lost that. And this piece here, it's supposed to be black, just like the valve, but mine broke. So I took an old cutting board and cut it just like the other one and replaced it. You can see how it works just like that. The problem I'm having is the cows like to come over here and rub on this float. I don't know whether it's after a bunch of cows have been here and the water levels dropped. Um, maybe it's when it's filling up with water and cows are curious. I'm not quite sure. But I know there's a screw on the other side of here attaching this white piece that I cut to the actual float valve right here. And that screw needs tightened pretty much every day because the cow's playing with it. And I'm just, I'm just tired of messing with it. So this morning, I took one of these, uh, I believe they're 17 gallon or 20 gallon totes. They usually have a, a rope handle there and a little rope handle there. You get them from TSC. This is what I use for uh, the calves water during the summer and spring. But this morning, I took and I cut a notch out there, one there, and one there. Um, this one and this one over here slide down over the stock tank. This one here in the back, it goes down over my support bar here. So give me a second and let me set my camera down and uh, I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, so there it is on the tank. Now you can see the cows have no way to access that float valve. They can't get to it. So there shouldn't be any rubbing on it. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna fasten this to the stock tank. And I think what I'm gonna do is just take a couple screws here at the top and uh, screw them in there and hope that holds. Do I have confidence in it? Not really because cows are rough on crap, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, there's actually an overflow. So once the stock tank gets full, it's right there, you see that white piece. Um, the remaining water can trickle out here on the ground. And that's worked rather well for me. And it doesn't look like I am restricting that in any way. There is a little bit of a space there, as you can see, between um, this tote that I put on the stock tank. Yeah, you got a good quarter inch there. So that ought to work good. Now I just need to put a couple screws in it. But I wanted to share in case you're battling the same problem. Thanks for watching Grazing Acres Farm. Okay, I apologize for the wind this morning, but I wanted to do an update. It's been four days that I've had this uh, tub over top of the float, and it's working just great. Matter of fact, yesterday I had a little situation where um, we had some freezing develop either in the hose or in the shaft of the spigot, and uh, the trough went completely dry. You would think the cows would be over here pushing this all around, trying to break this off the top. That didn't happen, not at all. As a matter of fact, I was able to come up here with a little hand uh, propane torch and heat the shaft and the water broke free and it's been working ever since. Matter of fact, here on the back side is my overflow. Kind of shows you what that looks like as it's streaming out onto the ground. And I also want to point out that that stream is going downhill uh, away from the stock tank so when the cows are standing here getting a drink they're not standing on a sheet of ice but uh as you can see very secure still um the only thing i could see that i would like to change is maybe some kind of a bracket here in the front to go from here over to here just to give it a little bit more security um i also want to point out that job does make uh a container that goes down over the float and blocks it just like I shown you here um, the ordeal is I just had the tote and I'm a cheapskate so if I can make something I'm surely gonna make it before I buy it um, hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you out folks 
Thanks for watching. Crazy Nagers Farm.